Okay, well, uh, today is Wednesday, February the 13th. And I decided I'd make a video because it has uh, finally stopped raining. Oh, look at that moon. But I'm not going to get to make a video much better than this for a little while because it's supposed to start raining again tomorrow night and keep raining for like a week again. Which means I won't be able to be outside to do anything. I won't be able to work on my Monte Carlo. I won't be able to work on my van. I won't be able to critique how rusty my S10 is. But right now I will show you guys a little spot of terrible engineering and uh, not just on my part. As you can see, this car has these horrible Euro tail lights in it. And it had them when I got it because uh, I wouldn't disgrace a car with putting such a thing on it. But these things are probably some of the cheapest made units that you could buy as well. And um, so I went to Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee uh, back this past year in September. And uh, at some point while I was there, this tail light came out of the socket. And it was kind of loose before, and I had noticed it, but it, it was in there, and I didn't really worry about it. You can see it's got condensation all in it. Garbage. But anyway, the thing practically fell out of the car when we got there, and I parked in a parking garage in Gatlinburg and got out and noticed it was pretty much about to fall off. And I was like, well, that, uh... You know, that's not embarrassing at all on this already crusty looking old Mustang. And so uh, I ended up fixing this in a parking garage with no tools, except for like a Phillips head screwdriver and I think like a butter knife. And uh, some wood screws that I found in the trunk of the car from where I had driven it to work or something at some point in the past. But if you look real close, Right there, where my finger is. Let's see if I can get this baby to focus. Yeah! Come on. Yeah, you see that? Indeed. That is a wood screw sticking out from right there. And uh, that's too fogged over, but there's another one right, right there. Just above the tip of my finger. But anyway, where those screws go through are the original screw holes for these lights. And uh, they've got like a plastic tab that's, you know, I'm sure uh, injection molded onto the back. And uh, of course they, come, they came off. So there, God, it's dark. There's one screw right there. And uh, normally these things had the stud, they had a stud that was molded into it that stuck out. And those little nuts right there went on it to hold them on. And of course, it broke them right out of there, the vibration and stuff of driving this car. And like I said, overall, just being a very cheap, poor quality product in the first place. So I took the nuts and put them back on there to make to use like a washer. And I got some two and a half inch, I believe, long wood screws and like forced them through the plastic in there to hold that thing in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I fixed that stupid little problem. I have debated on selling this car, but if I don't sell it, or at least not anytime soon, I am certainly going to go find some original style taillights to go back on here because I'm not going to lie, folks, these things look awful, or at least in my opinion. It wouldn't be so bad if they weren't so cheap, and if that one wasn't like leaking basically it has water in it somebody's tried to fix it at some point in time it's got a bunch of like household window caulk around it i didn't even do this that was like that when i got it actually somebody's done it to the other one as well so yeah i mean these things are cheap and they're terrible but they do work amazingly they still work i'm surprised that one hasn't shorted out and caught the car on fire but uh yeah so that's pretty much my little tidbit for you guys today more on that later.